Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ali Reza Feroja and Mila Zharkovic. This is a game from Sharjah Masters Tournament played in 2019. Ali Reza Feroja had white pieces and he started with e4. Mila Zharkovic played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, the standard move. d6, knight to c3, a6, white to move. Instead of the standard d4, Ali Reza played g3. b5, gaining the space on the queen side. But now, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop to b7, bishop to g2, knight to f6, and Ali Reza castle the king side. e6, rook to e1, black to move. Bishop to e7 is a move that black wants to play. Mila Zharkovic played knight from f to d7. Why? Let's take it back. If bishop to e7, then e5. And if d takes on e5, then bishop takes on b7. And if bishop takes on g2, then pawn takes knight. Bishop takes pawn. And then white can take the bishop, but knight takes on e6 is even stronger. After f takes on e6, check. And after king to f7, rook takes on d6, and you get the picture. Back to our game. So to avoid the problem with e5, Mila Zharkovic played knight from f to d7. a4. b takes on a4. Rook takes pawn on a4. Bishop to e7, rook to b4 attacking the bishop, knight to c5 defending, white to move. This is quite an interesting moment. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps developing the dark square bishop comes to mind, do you agree? There was a surprise. Ali Reza sacrificed the exchange. Knight takes on b7. What is the follow-up? What would you do? Ali Reza played e5, but now d5, and the problem is solved. Maybe. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? There was another surprise. Ali Reza sacrificed the knight. Knight takes on d5. Is this Mikal from Riga? No. This is Ali Reza from Iran. The game continued. E takes on d5. What was the idea behind the sacrifice? What would you do in this position? Ali Reza continued with knight to f5. Castling. Bishop takes on d5. Bishop to c5 removing the target from the knight. White to move. b4. Bishop to b6. If bishop takes on b4, then queen to g4. g6 preventing the checkmate, but then knight to h6 check, and after king to h8, queen takes on b4. Back to our game. Mila Zharkovic played bishop to b6. Queen to g4. Nothing serious, just threatening checkmate. g6. White move. I think. Knight to h6 check comes to mind. Do you agree? What would you do? e6. Black to move. Queen to f6 was played. If f takes on e6, then rook takes on e6, and after queen takes bishop, rook takes on g6 check, and after h takes on g6, knight to e7 check, winning the queen. Back to our game. Queen to f6, e7, attacking the rook, rook to e8, white played a move and black resigned and the move is, what would you do? Ali Reza played, bishop takes on f7 check, and Mila Zharkovic resigned. If queen takes on f7, then knight to h6 check wins the queen. And let's go back. Is king takes bishop better? Then queen to c4 check, and after queen to a6, queen takes queen check, wait, 
and let's go back once again if king goes to h8 then one line goes like this bishop takes rook knight to c6 bishop takes on c6 knight to d6 queen to g5 queen takes on g5 bishop to b2 check king to g8 bishop to d5 check knight to f7 and now the pawn is pushed and promoted to queen check rook takes queen rook takes rook check mate that was an amazing game by the young iranian chess player ali reza firoja what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now